Hey, welcome back to Some Type of Gamers, the show with two guys that don't know how to do award-winning commentary. Woo! Yeah, what he said. Hey, it's live on Zone. I know it is, except it's like wow. way better. Yeah, this is colorful. Yeah, I know. This makes me really want to go to Hurricane Harbor. Yes, it does. I want to go underwater. No, it doesn't mean you want to go to Hurricane Harbor. I just want to go in the pool. <laughs> he looks weird like that. One, one thing about this game is it has two levels that are like so much like Sonic 1. Like this and the last level. Like the last level looks almost exactly like Scrap Brain, except it has like a super awesome track to it. So the two levels that give you the hardest time in your favorite Sonic and your favorite Sonic game. Yeah, I know, isn't that weird? It is kinda weird. But uh they're not nearly as hard. Big bubbles. Yeah. I never, never show up. Oh, oh. What's going on? I'm being fanned. <laughs> being fanned? Yeah, there, there are all these like weird ass propellers and stuff. But one good thing about this game is, at least when you're underwater, you can have a uh, super peel out. Can you? Yeah. Hey, I see the numbers, but I don't see the terrifying death thing. Yeah, it doesn't have the terrifying uh, like sound in this game. It's just kind of like, sort of happens. Oh, huh, that's weird. Because like the numbers aren't weren't even centered at first. I saw they were like to the side of the screen. Yeah. It's kind of weird. It's weird. Like running out of air in this game is not as scary as any of the other Sonic games. Yeah. Like I don't know why they thought like eh, that maybe was a little too scary. Oh my god! Please don't die! Please don't die! Oh my god! That was close. <laughs> Right on the zero. Hey, are you gonna do no death run of this? Uh, I already died, remember? No. Did well, you? Yeah, I did. I really don't remember. <laughs> That's really concerning. When was this? Um. When, when did I die? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I died. Huh. Oh well. So, hey, you got it. Yeah! So, how many time stones are there? Seven. Oh wow. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'll get all of them, but uh, I'll try. These stages get really hard. You know, just to keep up consistency, maybe we shouldn't even try to get all the emeralds in Sonic 3. Well, I don't know, you, you're saying you're a wizard at that game, so... Uh, am I? That's what you said. You said you could get all the emeralds. Oh, it's Sonic 3, maybe. Yeah. Sonic Knuckles. Oh, yeah. Well, those are the super emeralds. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, they're chaos emeralds. I'm just kind of off the knuckles. I'm having, I'm having terrible. I, I don't oh, get oh, why. Oh, is that like. That, is that super chaos from behind? Yeah, I think so. Oh, jeez. What are these things that are falling around? They look like UFOs. They are UFOs. Oh, okay. So you're fighting like Time Lords or something? Time Lords? Was Doctor Who? I don't know, is that where that's from? Yeah, that's what he's supposed to be at Time Lord. Ugh. At least I think that's what he's supposed to be. I should check out Doctor Who sometime instead of holding it's so a, much contempt it's, for it. It's because a, I knew one person I didn't like liked it, and that's the first person I heard it came from. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. He's got the skills to pay the bills. Said skills? Oh my god. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, you have plenty of time. Oh, I still gotta find one? Damn it. You just passed one, it's okay. So, it's not a big stage. You can do this. This uh, this reminds me of that one game that you really like playing on the Genesis Collection. What game is that? I don't know, you like shot a bunch of spears out of people. Shot a bunch of what? A bunch of spears out of people. Oh! Space Harrier? Maybe. Yeah. Know. Space Harrier is pretty cool. It reminds me of F-Zero a lot. I didn't even know that game was there until you told me where it was. <laughs> It's yeah. Like in the lay and like the extra stuff. All right. Two wow. Time what an awkward little Sonic right there. You know Sonic has voice acting in this game. He's no. Like, does he say stuff? Yeah. He says yes when you get an extra life, and then if you wait three minutes, he'll say I'm out of here and then jump off the screen, and then you get a game over. Yeah. Well. We it's don't the, have to do that. No, we don't have to do that. This. Oh God. <gasps> Oh. So what do they shoot now? Oh, it's water. Oh. Yeah. Oh my this god. doesn't hurt you. Yeah, that's really nice. Of them. I thought it was gonna be ice or something. <laughs> or fire. <laughs> yeah. 
Fire underwater. Way to go, Sonic One. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> Oh, how flowers just grow in the water town. This game's so relaxing, like, I'm trying, it kind of makes me chill out when I'm playing it. Yeah, it's gonna be some sleep music. <laughs> it's so, I don't know, it's just so, like, the music's so nice that I just want to shut the hell up and listen to it. It kind of reminds me of some of the music in the later Sonic games. Yeah, like, definitely. I'm like, half, right now I'm half expecting just here, like, let's take a dive and a pump of fun. <laughs> Oh, I love those rap songs. They're so... I know you do. They're so stupid. I know. Eh. I think... I think up there is where the roboticizer is, but... Oh. Are you even in the past? No, I'm just... I'm in the present. So it wouldn't really matter then, huh? Yeah. One thing about this level is it's pretty hard to, like, get into the past sometimes, so... I don't see the point of the future. You'll see. You'll see how bleak the future is gonna be when we beat this level. <laughs> Cause before it was like all like sunshine and happiness, and it's gonna be it's gonna be all lightning and scary. Yeah, but like, what does that like change in the game though? And it changes the ending. This game has multiple endings, so they all do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, jump. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. It's a really good job about getting these time stones. <laughs> Alright, let me say, like, we'll see. I don't know, it just looks so much more comforting to play than uh, Sonic 2 and Sonic 1. Oh, yeah, most well, likely Sonic. Most, mostly the Sonic 2. These bonus stages are cool and doable, I guess. Oh, God. Although, I'm not super good at, like, the later ones, just because some of the UFOs just, like, they kind of trick you. Like, you'll be like, oh, he I'm gonna crash right into him, and then he'll, like, immediately, like, veer off into, like, another direction. And you're just like, bitch! And you see, every time you step in the water, you lose, like, a lot of time. I did notice something weird with the time just now. Yeah, so... I'm not sure if you just got more time or not. Once in a while, the UFOs will give you a clock, and you can um, add more time. I did see that. But I mean, ah, oh, jeez. Do the rain do anything, or are they just for like extra lives? Just extra lives. You have a better chance of getting a fucking continue. Oh my god. Here you go. You're a time lord. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm a time lord. Yes. They should just call the time agents from Final Fantasy time lords. <laughs> yeah. It'd be pretty bitchy. Pretty dope. I like the background here, too. Yes. There's a lot to like about this game. Clearly. <laughs> Is this the first time we're enjoying Sonic? I think so. <laughs> entire well, it's, it's, it's at least the first time we're both enjoying Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is the bleakness of the future right now. Look at this. Everything's, like, cracked and... And this is all because of the man. Yep. I'm not entirely sure of the storyline of this game, but I know it involves, like, this thing called Little Planet that kind of, like, exists. Wow, he is really big all of a sudden. This is, um, Gluttony Eggman. Uh, yeah. He's been, he's been hitting the... Or what's it I used to call? Fat Boo? Fat Boo. <laughs> not not nutrient-deficient Boo. It wasn't nutrient-deficient Boo. That was, uh, that was Skinny Boo, or whatever it was called. That was the best one, though. <laughs> Nutrient deficient um, boo. Yeah, I don't know what I call him. Don't, yeah. don't matter enough. See, this is the one where like you get to the last hit and he like kinda sweats a little bit. This is like the opposite of Flavorn's Zone's Eggman. I know, right? Yeah, he still has another phase to this fight though. How far down do you go? To the do bottom. You, do you have to hit him a certain amount of times or is that like a looper? You'll see. Okay. I think it's something they've done in like another Sonic game. Is he like absorbing all of your uh, air right now? Not really. It's kind of dumber than that. He's like, hey, I'm going to fight you with actual bubbles this time. Oh, but you can breathe them though. Yeah. So that's okay. Jeez. Oh gosh. I how slow you move when you're underwater. Yeah. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm not doing so hot on this fight. I don't know. Seems you know all right. It looks like it takes a long time though. And yeah, sometimes you can get lucky and uh get them pretty fast, but oh jeez, I need that one ring. He it's really fun. does look horrifying when he's not looking at the screen. Yeah, he definitely is a scary version of Eggman. This reminds me of uh, actually, you know, this reminds me of, like the horrifying version from the uh, Sonic 3 Blast. He was scary in that game. I, I used to be scared of him. <laughs> He's all, he's all in the- That game was just a little scary to start with, to be perfectly honest. I'm not sure why. This is the only one where he actually has an Eggmobile. He escapes in. That's too bad. He's like, I'll get you next time. I always like the Eggmobiles. It's like, it's stable. Like Sonic. <laughs> Alright, so next time on Some Type Gamers, we're gonna play another stage and... Stuff. And that's gonna happen, so bye. Bye forever.